The Healthy Conservatoires Network arose out of the Musical Impact Project. So for the past few years, many conservatoires in the UK have been doing active research. We want to make sure that students are able to engage properly and healthily in what they do, to do it to the best of their ability. Across the performing arts, we see that there are issues of mental and physical health that really do give rise to quite specific problems that performers face. Performers are incredibly motivated, highly talented, and on the whole, they really, really love what they do. Most performers are involved in uh, an activity that is physically demanding, and so we find that people have a lot of physical demands on their bodies, and at the same time, they're working under a lot of pressure, and they're working in an environment where their job is to deliver an emotional message. So you get this sort of triple whammy, really, that they are physically demanded of, they are psychologically demanded of, and they are emotionally demanded of. Our research is suggesting that the way in which we engage performers in terms of health-promoting behaviours needs to be addressed and improved. We've constituted the Healthy Conservatoires Network so that we can bring experts from around the country together and discuss these issues that are important to performance education and employment. One of the things that is fantastic about this project is that it has brought the conservatoires together and for me, it's wonderful that in this enterprise, we are sisters. And this is an opportunity for us really to work together. We know a lot more today about the needs of performers as they relate to health and well-being. And we're very alert to the fact that if we can introduce young artists to healthy practice, the chances are they're going to be able to have a successful long career. I think what's great about the Healthy Conservatoires Network is that we have knowledge um, of dancers, musicians, actors, we're bringing together um, all of that knowledge and sharing from the different performing arts. So for example in dance science here at Trinity Laban, we've done a lot of work over the years to understand more about the physiological demands of dancing and then we're trying to apply those sorts of research questions to musicians and likewise there's a lot that dance can learn from music and there's been a lot of music psychology research done particularly in the area of pre-performance anxiety and some of the psychological skills that are now taught to musicians that dancers don't really know much about. So if the performing arts got together and started collaborating a little bit more, then I think we're going to be progressing at a much faster rate and learning from each other. Our research is allowing us to find ways to provide stability to the work that performers do. We not only want to address and help them in times of trouble, we also want to find ways in which we can help enhance their performance. We're looking both not just to solve the problems, but to move forward and create solutions to be a better performer. We do all train young artists for tomorrow's profession. So in a sense, we do the same job, we work together collaboratively, and I think we can have a bigger voice and perhaps a more effective voice in the profession by doing that. We like to see ourselves as innovators, such that some of the work that we do training tomorrow's artists can also have an impact on today's profession. Mm -hmm.